The chapter opens at the Marine G-1 Branch Coastal Ship Scrapyard, where we see the discarded wreckage of old ships. Django and Fullbody ask Commodore Brannu what he means by battleship bags. He explains as part of his daily exercise regimen, a young Vice Admiral Monkey D. Garp would punch ships instead of sandbags. Fullbody asks why he can see two ships with concave bows. Brannu explains that the second was for Garp's student, Admiral Aokaji, also known as Kuzan. He adds, the rule was no hockey or devil fruit abilities while using the battleship bag. He explains that the two heroes worked hard and weren't born with their legendary strength. Meanwhile, in the new world on the pirate island, Hachinosu, there is an enormous splash as we see the legs of a giant sink into the sea. The Blackbeard pirates' voices shake in fear as they tell each other that Garp has just thrown Sanjuan Wolf into the sea. They scramble to save him from drowning. Vasco Shot scoffs, saying, What legendary hero? He gulps down alcohol and sets it on fire, shooting it at Garp in a move called Shugo Rapu, or Heavy Drinker Hearthfire. Garp shields himself by lifting up two pirates who screech as they burn. Garp then tosses them around the island, causing more fires and further terrifying the others. Avalo Pizarro, who using his Isle Isle fruit power was still merged with the land, screams, Are you planning on destroying this pirate island? The pirates panic in fear of both Blackbeard's reaction upon seeing the state of the island, as well as a grinning Garp's robot-like stamina despite being so outnumbered. On board the battleship, Rear Admiral Kujaku radios Garp for the site rep. She informs him that all captured citizens and injured marines have set out to sea, and they are ready for departure. On deck behind her, we see a recently defrosted Hibari writhing on Tashigi's lap while someone commands that they carefully defrost the others. A worried citizen tearfully asks if Captain Kobe is all right. Garp acknowledges Hibari's call, ordering Kobe, Prince Gruus, and Helmeppo to retreat while yelling, as expected of Hachinosu, the pirates just keep calming. At this moment, Kuzan collects himself from Garp's last strike and bellows, like I said, I can't let you leave Garp-san. Helmeppo panics and regrets coming, Gruss asks Garp. Am I also the future of the Marines? Kobe, panting, warns them not to underestimate the Titanic captains. Garp squares up to Kuzan and tells the other three to run for the sea. He orders them not to die, and they shout, Yes, sir! As he sprints for the water, Kobe is stopped by the voice of a woman screaming for help. He rushes towards the unaccounted for hostage in an attempt to save her. Gruss realizes it's a trap, but before Kobe can act, Shiryu, who was invisible, suddenly lunges at Kobe with his sword. Garp throws himself in front of Kobe, and the sword plunges through him. Kobe falls back, bewildered. Though still bleeding, Garp musters up his strength to deliver a powerful punch to Shiryu, slamming him into the ground. Garp recognizes his opponent and mutters, The hoodlum from Impel Down? As Shiryu weakly laughs. Helmeppo, Gruss, and Kobe take stock of the situation and rush to Garp's side. Garp orders them to get to the ship. A distraught Kobe cries that it's his fault, and the Vice Admiral was hurt because he protected him. Garp replies, Don't be so conceited, Kobe. He was aiming for me from the start. The Blackbeard pirates are encouraged by the sight of Garp's injuries. They remember his enormous bounty of three billion berries at the Cross Guild and become motivated to take him down, rushing towards him. Kuzan flies forward, snapping at the others to get out of the way. He calls them weaklings, who wouldn't be able to kill Garp even if his arms and legs were bound. He meets Garp's eyes and unleashes his ice glove attack. The scene shifts to Garp's memory of a young Kuzan. An annoyed Garp is telling Kuzan he values his freedom too much to take on a student and that he should go learn from the marine instructors. Kuzan insists, saying he's learned all he can from them and only Garp can take him to the next level. Although Garp tells him to get lost, we see the two at the ship scrapyard punching their battleship bags. Garp barks at Kuzan not to use hockey. The latter says he can't use hockey even if he wanted to and struggles, his punches causing him pain and landing weakly. As time passes, we see Kuzan's punches get louder, eventually reaching the same level as Garp's. Simultaneously, their relationship grows stronger as well. Garp confides in Kuzan about his son and grandson. Ultimately, we see Garp approaching Kuzan for company. Kuzan becomes Admiral Aokaji and complains that he's too busy, but resigns himself to having tea. In the present day, 
Kuzan tells Garp that he's raised a troublesome enemy in him. Garp glares at Kuzan and growls, You're excommunicated, you foolish student! The two strike at each other with hockey-coated fists, creating an enormous explosion that breaks the ground and sends them both hurtling back. Upon seeing his body fly, Kobe screams, Vice Admiral Garp! As a weakened Garp groans on the ground, Avalo Pizarro cackles telling the Marines they have no hope of escaping Hachinosu. The legendary island of pirates will keep spitting them out. He sneers saying that even their ship is not safe from him. On board the ship, Hibari asks where Kobe is, feeling she was just dead weight. Kujaku tries to reassure her when they suddenly notice an ominous shadow. Using his Isle Isle fruit power, Pizarro transforms the land into a colossal hand and stretches it out to crush Garp's ship. He fantasizes about the newspaper headlines, hoping they will show his name instead of just Blackbeard's. Kobe desperately begs him to stop, pleading that there are people who aren't Marines on the ship. The chapter ends with a fallen Garp telling Kobe, Don't lose your composure. Justice will prevail.